Hi, I'm Jim Schaffner with the Start House Ski Shop and I'm here today to show you where the magic takes place when it comes to uh, making changes in the shape of your boot. So for all the punching, the grinding, and the way we change they fit, it all happens here in the back shop. Come on back and I'm going to show you what some of the stations are that we do all this work. So um, one of the things we have here is what's called a glue up table. It's got venting uh, for uh, all of the fumes to go away and this is generally where we do all the footbed production. So generally what's here is uh, you see the footbed blank, posting materials, and they're glued up and pressed together before we uh, actually grind uh, the posting material down to fit inside the boot. Um, this bench over here is kind of a combo glue up table and it's also where we do a lot of our alignment work. So we've got tools here related to that. Um, in this particular case, we are in the process of canting some boots and so the final step gets done here. This is where the plates get put on and some of the tooling involved with that is a joiner planer for actually changing the cant angle. Um, we've got a special sander here that's for altering the heel spring and the toe spring on the boots uh, so that they'll fit in the bindings properly. And then the last step is once the boots are raised with a plate, that's called a plunge router and that helps clean everything up. So all that work gets done in this part of the shop. Most of the internal grinding for all the fit work takes place here. We've got uh, Fordham uh, grinders and you have burr bits and what it allows you to do is come inside and open up the boot and be able to actually uh, grind away the spots that you've marked where you need to change fit. Um, and there's some pretty common places on the foot where most people have problems. We mark those internally and then uh, they said this is the grinder setup. So we've got four of and all the different uh, tools and bits that we go along with that. And um, over here, uh, it's become um, really important to have machinery that can heat internally. And so these are internal heat stretching machines. These are called ultra cams. And back in the corner here, you see a lot of the different dies and shapes for the ultra cams um, that are set up to be able to make different punches. Right now on the ultra cams, I'm stretching a couple of liners. I've got a few liners where we're increasing room in the toe. And I've got a navicular punch going on on this one and an ankle punch going on here. And this internally uh, heated ball is not in service at the moment. So essentially that takes place here. This is all for internal heating. And then in the center island, this is for where all the external heated punches go. So you can virtually with these Scott presses do any type of punch you could imagine. Here's uh, a punch for the styloid. Here's a punch for the big toe or first metatarsal head. Um, right here we're using some internal expanders to increase the toe length in this particular boot here. And here's another example on the heat table of a boot that's had a punch done uh, to increase the space uh, over the top of the instep. So it's basically an upstretch uh, is being performed here. And I've uh, got a couple more Scott presses here. This one that actually incorporates another heated ball that's on it. Um, so for a lot of the new style boots, and I've got one of them here, this one is from Technica, and the material that this shell is made out of is called Triax, and Triax is a material that can't be heated the same way as a lot of the polyurethanes that many of the boots are still made out of, so we have to use internally heated balls so we don't burn or um, you know, cause any problems with that. So there's a, a first met or a bunion stretch that's being done with an internally heated ball and you can see the temps being controlled there. That's the setting of 230 degrees and that's showing what the actual temp is and that's actually stretching as we, as we talk. And so the last station here in the shop is where we do all the finishing work on our footbeds. This particular grinder has two separate belts, two separate grits and it's got an evacuation system that um, pulls all of the dust away so it doesn't fill the shop up. And this is where we do all of the trimming and finish work on a footbed. Like we would grind it and finish off the posting material on the belt. So generally, that's the tour of the shop and how things get accomplished. Blew up, uh, shell work, shell modification, uh, grinding, internally heat punching, heat table for external punches, and or external heating, and that's our story in the back shop of Starthouse Ski Shop.